Hey everybody, I'm here at World Maker Fair with Aiden, who has an awesome soft robotic robot, I guess we could call it. Yes. So tell us a little bit about what you have today. Yeah, so I have the first prototype of a soft robotic prosthetic hand that I've been developing for some time um, and doing some different research in, in terms of actuators and whatnot. So, the main body of the hand is just 3D printed PLA. The structure uh, is hollow on the inside in order to have space for the air channels. And the frame snaps together with magnets. Great neodymium magnets give like five pounds of pressure. Great stuff. Then, the fingers, which do the real work in this project, are made of Ecoflex 30 silicone. I poured them in 3D printed molds, and in the molds had 3D printed PVA uh, cores. And PVA is a water soluble material. So once the silicone cured after four hours, I was able to dissolve out the inside of it in order to have the internal structure. On the topic of the internal structure, it has one main airline and many, about 20, perpendicular airlines. When air is pumped into the actuator, the different air pockets that are perpendicular to each other push against each other, causing the actuator to bend. Can you tell us a little bit about how you're powering the system? Yeah, so I have a uh, backpack on my back that has uh, two 12-volt solenoids, solenoid valves that is, and one 12-volt pump. So the 12-volt pump pushes air through one of the solenoid valves, which is the selector valve, and then the other solenoid valve, which is an exhaust valve, will empty the system and clear it. It's all powered by a uh, 600 milliamp hour 12-volt uh, battery and a Arduino Mega. So, tell me a little bit about some of the software you used to put together the, the CAD modeling. Yeah, so um, I designed all things for this uh, design in 1-2-3-D design from Autodesk. Uh, I know you used to use that oh, yeah. software. So, um, still do, still do. yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so the, the making, I just needed to make the models for the mold of the fingers. And then what really took a lot of modeling is the case. As you can see, many fillets and different spaces for magnets and lots of stuff. That took maybe three, four hours of designing. So you were telling me um, you didn't print it all in one piece. You actually diced it up in a little bit. Tell me a little bit yeah. about the process of so, uh, um, doing that. My larger printer was down while I had to print the parts for this. So instead, using my smaller printer, I printed those parts. What I did is I took the main model and using a program called NetFab Basic, I cut it up into four pieces for each half, eight pieces in total. Did you need any support material to print them? Uh, yes, I generated support material for the individual cut up pieces in Mesh Mixer. Awesome, wow. So your tool chain is sort of like 123D, NetFab, and then uh, Mesh Mixer. Yeah. So yeah, so it's sort of the roundabout way is how to do it. Um, what did you use to slice it? Uh, so since I printed this on my MakerBot Replicator okay. Mini, I used MakerBot Desktop Slicer. Okay. How long did it take to print everything? Um, or at least the base, the yeah, orange so, base. Yeah, so the, the base in total probably took 18 hours of printing in total. Yeah, okay. Uh, the individual, per mold, it takes about five hours to print the wow. full mold. However, I can reuse the mold, so that wasn't right that much of an issue. Okay, cool. Uh, where can we learn more about this project? Where can people check you out? You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube as XYZ Aiden. That's X-Y-Z-A-I-D-A-N. Point, point down here, there's a link right there. Yep, we'll have a it's link a magic in, the, link right here. in the description. There you go. All right, cool. Well, Aiden, thanks so much for stopping by. Thank Say you, hello. Man. All right, guys, we'll check you guys out later.